what to do YouTube, it's your boy again Chris here back with some more Chris Wrestling news today, you, well Chris Wrestling views today you guys, uh, today we're going to be doing my WWE Wrestlemania 37, uh, Sun, Wrestlemania 37, some people call it Night 2, some people call it uh, Wrestlemania 37 Sunday or whatever, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in on the first match you guys, the first match of tonight was Randy Orton versus The Fiend. Uh, basically, in this match, you guys, when the enter when it was for the entrance, you can like when the fiend was like he was like coming down like a hall or something, um, and then you can see him from the burnt fiend. He and then the body kind of changes and he goes back into you know his normal body. But at the same time, you guys, I was very curious: was that really the fiend um, under that costume? Because the his face have gotten smaller. Um, but it, it, I guess it definitely was the fiend. Uh, he had a tattoo on his neck, but it just, I guess maybe since he'd been away ever since like December, um, well, a week before the end of December, you know, as he was technically, you know, burned by Randy Orton, you know, I guess to go along, you know, with the gimmick, you know, that he had, um, been, you know, I mean, you know what I mean, you guys, but anyways, um, Fiend comes up inside of like a big Jack in the Box and uh, Alexa Bliss is up there rolling the Jack in the Box. And then after then the lights go off and does a hero little thing, whatever. And then so um, basically, you guys, the Fiend comes uh, inside the box. He stands backwards and then uh, turns around and jumps on Orton. Uh, then... Um, then and then so so ba so basically Alexa Bliss was up you know she was sitting up on top of the box and then out of nowhere fire blasts out of nowhere you know through the ring post and once they uh, blasted out of the ring post you guys that's when um that that's when we heard that's when uh we seen Alexa was bleed had like you know that black liquid or whatever you know that Orton was spitting up a couple weeks ago on Raw and um. And after then, you guys, that's when they had the, um, that's when Alexa Bliss was just, you know, spitting out her mouth. And then the Fiend looked at her as, you know, Randy was, uh, like, as the Fiend was trying to do his sister Abigail. And, you know, like I said, the fire hit. And then uh, after then, Randy Orton hits the RKO and picks up the victory for the one, two, three, you guys. And your winner of that match was Randy, was Randy Orton. Um, I lost that prediction because I like I basically thought that um, that the Fiend would have won, and to have Randy Orton to take time off, you know, until like later this year. But apparently, you guys, that didn't happen in this case. But you know, congratulations, you guys, to um, Randy Orton picking up picking up the victory, even though my prediction was wrong. Uh, but I gave the uh, match a 3.3 because it really, it really, it really didn't last five. It really didn't last over five minutes. Maybe it was like, maybe it was four. No, I'll say five. I'll give it at least five minutes that the um, you know, that the match took place. But uh, we definitely want to see you know what's going to happen next um, between uh, the Fiend and Alexa Bliss because you know I guess Alexa Bliss has some answering to do, um, and I guess. Um, possible like Alexa she probably you know um she, she, you know she's not feeling as she was when the thing was around so I guess it's wearing off on her I mean I guess it's wearing off or something like that but you know who knows um but we'll find out tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw um so then you guys the second match was for the WWE Women's Tag Team Titles we had Shayna Baylor and um Nia Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax versus Tamina and Natalia. Um and so basically you met basically guys in this match um I gave it a two point nine simply because with this match you guys uh Nia Jackson and Shayna Baszler basically had the upper hand in this match and um the ending of the match you guys which um which was what was her name? Shayna Baszler um put Natalia in the care for the clutch and um you know Natalia ended up uh, passing out. So, um, yeah, so we're definitely going to see who's going to face Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler next for those uh, dirty, um, the dirty women's tag team titles. Who will dethrone uh, those two um, tag women's tag teams? All right, then the third match, you guys, which was uh, Kevin Owens versus uh, versus Sami Zayn. 
basically basically in this match you guys um kept um not Kevin Owens um Sami Zayn was hitting like you know the inverter suplex thing you guys and then you know hit the blue thunder bomb and then a brain buster Owens still kicked out um there were two super kicks by um by Kevin Owens and then there was a stunner and Kevin Owens ended up picking up the victory over Sami Zayn uh after the match you guys Kevin Owens uh hits the stunner on Logan and Paul and I'm talking about when he did his stunner they tried to pull it off like a stone cold Steve Austin type stunner but when Logan Paul got stunner, I mean, he he, he felt so funny, you guys. I wasn't trying to laugh, but it was like the way, the way how when Kevin Owens stunned him, you know, it was just like whoa. It's like he flipped up and stuff like that, and landed on his face, and the referee had to check on him to make sure Kevin Owens didn't break Logan Paul's neck. All right, so there was a backstage thing, you guys, which was Riddle, uh, what meets Kali and RVD and. You know, saying bro and all that stuff, whatever, but that's besides the point. All right, fourth match, you guys, we'll go ahead and jump into um, Matt Riddle. Well, Riddle versus uh, Sheamus for the United States title, you guys. Uh, Riddle does a bat, Riddle does a bat flip off the top rope. Sheamus, um, well, he was like like a springboard, like off the second rope he got, he hit it, bam. Sheamus come up, boom, bro kick in midair, you guys, in one, two, three. Uh, Sheamus um, is the, your new United States title. I mean, you, your new United States champion. Uh, this match is far from over, you guys, between these two competitors. Um, I'm definitely ready to see uh, them brawl at it once again. But let me go back to that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens match, you guys. I gave that a 3.1 simply because we already knew what was going to happen. Um, and the uh, Sheamus and Matt Riddle match was the best match. Well, was like the second to the best match of the night you guys um you know it was better than any other the three matches i didn't already discussed um but like i said i gave it a 3.5 all right so you guys next we had uh the nigerian drum fight intercontinental uh title match paulo cruz versus biggie uh basically in this match um apollo cruz and biggie you know they exchanged blows one hit each other with kin they hit each other with kendo sticks and so on and so forth but then we see a return you guys they said this guy is they said this guy is unknown or whatever but uh the guy that attacked um Big E was Kato from WWE's Raw Underground that they had but you know the show is now canceled um you know he helped Apollo, you know he helped Apollo Crews um by well he basically beat down uh Big E hit like a like a choke slam on him and twist his arm and all the other stuff and um help um Apollo Cruz win the Intercontinental title. Uh don't really have a rating on that you guys but it was a surprise to see. But if I um could give a rating on it you guys I would give it a uh three. Um simply because I wasn't expecting Kato but at the same time uh, you know it was that time possibly for Apollo Crews to win that title, even though I hate his gimmick that he has, which he's not Nigerian. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on to the uh, sixth match of the night, which was for the WWE Raw Women's title, which was Rhea Ripley versus Asuka. Um, so basically in this match, you guys, um, Asuka, hits, um, Asuka gets hit with Rhea Ripley's tie-dye, well, rip-tie at the end, and um, after then, one, two, three, Real Ripley is your new Raw Women's Champion. Um, the youngest champion in WWE right now um, because Real Ripley is only 24 years old, you guys. And, you know, it, you know, it's time, it was like, it, it was definitely time uh, to see a new champion because I know Vince was getting tired of Oscar. I know we as WWE fans are getting, was get, were getting tired of Oscar. But now she is no longer champion. We're going to see if they're going to have a rematch. And hopefully Rhea Ripley uh, retains once again. And I gave that match a three because we all know that Rhea Ripley was going to win. All right, you guys. Let's get ready for the main event, you guys, which was Daniel Bryan versus... Well, Daniel Bryan versus the Rated R Superstar Edge versus the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, um, Roman Reigns for the WWE 
universal title. So basically, this match, you guys, um, it, I gave I gave it a five. I I tried to give it a four, but I changed it to a five star. You guys, uh, the match went on pretty lengthy. Uh, it was about possibly ten, about ten forty five when the match started, and the match ended around like eleven twenty Eastern Standard Time. You guys. Um, so basically, the highlights of this match: Dane Bryan and um, Roman Reigns um, had Roman in the cross face with like a lead pipe or whatever, you know, in between the mouth area right here, pulling on it. That's when Dane Bryan and Edge start head butting each other, and then they start, you know, hitting each other. And then uh, Edge spears Bryan, and then Roman Reigns uh, pulls the ref foot, so he basically snaps the ref, ref outside the ring. Edge. Uh, start grabbing chairs, attacking, um, you know, Brian and Rain. Uh, Jamal, he went like, bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, after then, Edge uh, sets up for the concerto on both Brian and um, and uh, Roman. Uh, Roman ends up getting back up and, um, you know, uh, spearing Edge. And then after then, Jimmy Uso comes and try, tries to, um, you know, he was basically trying to help Roman and ends up um, getting attacked with the chair. And then, um, it, and then um, that's when, it, that's when uh, Roman Reigns get the chair, put it on the Daniel Bryan's head and smack the chair to, uh, well, no, Ed smacked the chair on Daniel Bryan's head and Roman Reigns smacked the chair onto Edge's uh, head doing the concerto. Um, and then after then, Ed, Edge and uh, Dan Bryan get stacked up by Roman Reigns and pin them both in your winner and still your WWE Universal Champion, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. So yeah, you guys, that that was basically it for WrestleMania. Um, I know I know last night WrestleMania possibly didn't make sense to you guys, but you know then again, um, you know it was a you know it was a great. Uh, it, you know, especially with two matches on the card tonight, you guys, of um, WrestleMania um, Night 2, WrestleMania, uh, WrestleMania Sunday. Um, you know, those two matches were great, which was the uh, Riddle versus Sheamus and then the uh, Dirty Universal Championship match. We had Edge, Roman Reigns, and uh, Daniel Bryan. So you have to get kudos to the guys, uh, to, the, to all of those guys. And, um, you know, what a performance that they put on. So we are going to see what's going to happen on Friday night SmackDown with those superstars. And, um, you know, like I said on my other video uh, for night one WrestleMania, we've seen Bianca Belair win the title. We've seen, you know, it was a lot. It basically was a lot of title changes, um, you know, during WrestleMania event. But I really do want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I want to make sure um, that you guys... Um, I just want to make sure that you guys, you know, get all the news, get all the information that I um, post here on doing my videos. Um, also, reach out to me, leave a comment down below in the description. Uh, you can leave your Twitter down there, and I will follow you um, for my Twitter page. And I, I really got to start putting it on here. But thank you all for watching Chris Wrestling Views. Time for me to go to sleep, you guys. And, um, you know, it's late, almost midnight here. But got to rest up, you guys. So I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow where I'm going to be doing my WWE Raw, well, WWE Monday Night Raw review. And let's see what's going to happen on Raw after WrestleMania. Thank you all for watching Chris Russell News here on YouTube.com.